Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the fraction flipper. Okay, and as always, we are going to make a list of the parts you will need. So here are the parts you will need, and what you want to do is make an accurate list of those parts. So you're going to want to pause the video, take out a piece of paper and a pencil, and begin making a list. Once you're ready to make a list, then start the video back up. Okay? Okay, here we go. As with almost all of our videos, we are going to start with the blue connectors. So the first thing on your list will be blue connectors, and you will need a total of two blue connectors. You will need two blue connectors. Okay? So you need two blue connectors to start this project. Then you will go with your purple connectors. You will need two purple connectors. So you will need a total of two purple connectors. The next thing you will get will be, or the next thing on your list will be white connectors. White connectors. Okay? You will need one white connector one white connector. After your white connectors, you will work on the yellow connectors. Yellow connectors. You will need a total of two yellow connectors. Next connectors you will need will be green connectors. Green connectors. You will need a total of two green connectors. So you will need two green connectors. Followed by red connectors. You will need red connectors. You will need two red connectors. Two red connectors. Two red connectors. Then you will need orange connectors one orange connector. Just one orange connector. Orange connectors. Just one. Then your dark gray connectors. Dark gray connectors. You will need one dark gray connector. One dark gray connector. Just one. Then we have a a neat part called a hinge or hinges. You will need two hinges. You will need two hinges and that's what they look like. It doesn't matter if your hinges are blue and green or black and blue. Doesn't matter. They both work the same and you will need two hinges. Now for the rods. You will need some gray rods or actually just one gray rod. Just one gray rod one gray rod. 
Next rod you need will be red rods. You will need one of the red rods. Just one red rod. Just one. Red rod. Then you will need yellow rods. You will need a total of four yellow rods. Four yellow rods. So you will need one, two, three, four yellow rods. Four yellow rods. And you will need white rods. You will need two white rods. Two white rods. Two, two white rods. Then we will need the green rod. And we only need one green rod. Just one green rod. And the last part we need is a flexi rod. It can be green, purple, light purple, some of them are black, but you need one flexi rod and they are flexible. They bend. That'll fascinate you a little bit. But you need one of those, a flexi rod. We need one. Okay. What you're going to do is pause the video, get all the parts out that you need, and then restart the video and get ready to build. Okay, so pause the video and get out the parts that you need. Okay, here's what we're going to do. If you started the video, it means you have all your parts out and they are all ready to go. And so you're going to start the video and begin building the fraction flipper. The first thing that you want to do is take a blue connector and a purple connector and snap them together. When you snap the blue into the purple, it makes a snap, a clicking sound. Make sure you get that snap when you push them together. Okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a yellow rod and you're going to snap it in to the blue connector like so. All right. Making sure that the purple rod is in the same direction as the yellow or the purple connector is in the same direction as the yellow rod. Then what you will do is you will take another blue connector and purple connector and snap them together. Snap them together. Then you want to connect this set of connectors onto your yellow rod. Okay? So I'm going to side snap it right in like so. And now if you look at it, your purple connectors are right in line with your yellow rod. Okay, if you turn it over like this, this is what the bottom would look like. All right. Then you can put that down. And what you're going to do is now you're going to snap, okay, some yellow rods on. And you're going to need two yellow rods for this. And you're going to snap one here. And you're going to snap the other right here. Okay. Then, something very, very, very tricky. You need your green rod. And you're going to snap your green rod into this part of the purple connector. It might be a blue part you connect into, but you want your green rod to snap in. Now you're going to have to kind of work it in there, but it snaps in like that. 
and so this is what you're looking at okay so you have your yellow rods here your purple connector like this and your green rod like that okay the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take a red connector and snap it on to the green rod so that it is making a 90 degree angle up okay like so okay with that in place then what you're going to do is you're going to take two yellow connectors and you're going to snap them onto your yellow rods now notice how I'm going to snap them and this is a side snap into the ribbed part just like so okay and then pull them out to the ends like so so when you snap your yellow connectors on you do a side snap like so and then you just put everything down like that okay and so this is what you have so far all right now the next thing you're going to do okay you're going to take your gray rod and put it right here upright like so okay. so your gray rod is now in your purple connector and it is in line with this red connector okay then you're going to take a yellow rod and put it in to your red connector like so so your gray rod and your yellow rod are parallel next you'll take one of your hinges this hinge will go on this yellow rod doesn't matter if blue or whatever doesn't matter just snap it on like so and then it's the hinge part is facing away so this is what you're looking at next you'll take your red rod and snap it in to your hinge like so okay that's a nice 45 degree angle then on the end of this red rod you will take your red connector snap it on like so then take a white rod and snap it into the red connector Okay. Then take a dark gray connector and it's going to snap on your red rod. And it wants to snap on so that it is facing in the same direction as your white rod. Okay? So you snap it on. If you have to adjust your red connector, but things are now in alignment. Okay? and you can just slide it back about there now you're going to take this yellow connector or orange connector and you're going to snap it onto the gray rod and then you're going to force this yellow one into the orange connector so now you no longer have parallel rods okay the next thing that you want to do is take your yellow or your white connector 
and snap it on your gray rod like that okay so that it is facing towards the back and it's flat all right then you're going to use a flexi rod to connect from here to here so you take your flexi rod and I recommend putting it in the purple connector first at the bottom and then bending it to go into your white connector like so huh? now the next thing you will do okay is you will take your hinge your remaining hinge and snap it on to the top of your gray rod Okay. Then your white connector is going to snap into your hinge, but it's going to snap sideways. It's going to go in sideways like that. Okay? You just snap it in there. So that's what you got. Just like so. Now, the trickiest part will be getting these remaining two green connectors on. Okay? Now, if you look at what you have, okay, you're going to take your green connector, and I always tell kids to push that white rod out and then snap your green connector on like so. Okay? Now, once it's on, then you're going to push that white rod all the way out because your next green connector is going to go right here beside it and it gets a little bit tricky so you have to make sure that white rod is pushed through there because it's a very snug fit and you wiggle it on and there you go okay and you are done and this is the fraction flipper your teacher is now going to show you or let you discover how this fraction flipper represents all the other concepts or many of the other concepts in connects and connects building and design okay so when you're done building your fraction flipper you can inspect it make sure everything looks the way you want it to look okay and then you are ready to go for the next activity all right, and your teacher will tell you how to do that. There you go.